What's up, ladies and suckers? It's TB365. I just came from Vegas in the Grand Canyon, man. It was fun. I had a good time, but time to do one of my favorite videos because it makes reminisce of my short life and all the good times and the bad times. And this story time is about my first ever fight. All right, my first ever fight, man. And if I could go back into time, there's two, two places I'll go if I could go back into time in my own life. I would go to my middle school, my sixth grade year. My sixth grade year, I went to probably the best middle school any kid could ask for, man. This middle school was so much fun. It was so huge. We had lockers. We had PE lockers and regular lockers. We had, uh, they had milkshakes at lunch for only a dollar. Like, it's like a medium size, like McDonald's or like, no, more like an Arby's. A medium size, like Arby's milkshake for only a dollar. They had chocolate and vanilla every day at lunch. Man, like it was amazing. And then our P class was so fun. There was this point in our P class where we just we we just learned like line dancing. We learned the chicken dance. We learned the macarena. The hand, the hand, the hand, the hand. I don't know what why we did that. But it was so fun. Yeah, it was a great time, man. And that was a great year of my life. I wish I could go back and do that again. And another time is the YMCA. Now YMCA, man. The YMCA was so fun. The YMCA was such a fun time. It was a great time. My summers going to YMCA were amazing, man. I still wish I could go to this day, man. Those are great times. Really fun. Cool people. I'll talk to none of them. I wish I kept in contact with some of them because some of them were some funny people, man. But that's where this story takes place, the YMCA. I mean, this is not really the best, one of the best times of my life right here this time, but uh, other times were amazing. But this is my fourth grade going to fifth grade year and I moved to Oregon in third grade and I come back yeah in my third grade year I moved to Oregon I moved back after my sixth grade year in middle school and I moved back and this is my fourth grade going to fifth grade so I was in California for the summer visiting my grandparents and they signed up signed us up for the YMCA because uh they had to work during the day so what's the point of us just sitting around their house so we went to the YMCA during the summers and my brothers and sisters did not like the YMCA I have no idea why not it was lit but um so fourth grade going to fifth grade that's where this fight happened so we're chilling at the ymca my friend my brother my this, this is my older brother friends my older brother friends were just jerks and just jerks and douchebags man they're just mean people like they're just jerks to everybody they're instructors everybody they're always the people that always be trying to steal other people's food try to get extra rich crackers when they pass out the crackers during dinner time or lunch time they're always trying to do the most they always try to be the bad kids try to be with the older kids Freaking saying cuss words and stuff, but he'd be like, <laughs> damn. Ah! Ah! Start laughing and stuff. Like, they're just goofy, freaking immature little suckers. You know, right? that's my brother's friends, man. There's this one Arabian kid that I did not like. He didn't like me. We hated each other. This was the one of those kids that always try to be the, the, the rebel, always try to stand up against the instructor, always like, and you would think he would be the only one who get in trouble. Like, one story, a little quick story. We were basically about to go outside for recess. And the kid, we had rich crackers, and the kid just left a uh, crutch cracker on the floor, didn't clean it up. Now, you would think the, the girl say, e clean it up, man. Like, you're not, you're, you're not going outside until you clean this up. No, she said, we're all not going outside until he cleans this up. So everybody's telling him, clean it up, clean it up. He's just like, no, I'm not cleaning it up. You could do it for me. No, 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 whatever, man. This dude is just annoying. So another day comes by, and I think we're playing... I think we're playing uh, a game. What's that game we use? Uh, wall ball, wall ball. When you hit the ball against the wall and it bounces and there's like slices or whatever. We're playing that game. Boy, I clapped this dude. Okay, so he beat me twice, right? He got me two times with them little slicey cheese, man, whatever. He got me two times. And and then we bet like, I think we bet like a candy bar or something this time. Because, I, you know, I was just like angry. So I bet like my candy bar. Like, you gave me your candy bar. And I'll give you my candy bar. Or you, or you take my candy bar. You, say, it's, you know the deal. I, we bet that candy bar was going to win, man. And I won. I beat that dude real quick. I hit him with that. I hit him with that. I hit him in the corner. He ran to the corner. I sprinted. Hit that thing. The other corner. That dude couldn't make it. He was running. Couldn't make it. Give me the candy bar. I take that W. He's not giving the candy bar, though. I'm like, give me your candy bar, sucker. He's like, no. You're not going to get it, man. He, always, he said that stupid the thing I hate to hear. Double or nothing. Double or nothing. Boy, you don't have any candy bars. What do you mean double or nothing, man? I'm like, give me my dang candy bar. 
He's like, no, no, no. And I'm like, give me my candy bar, you stupid. I had such bad roasting back then. I was like, you stupid idiot. Oh, I didn't say stupid idiot. I just, I said something else. I don't remember what I said. That's just some roasting thing. And he was like, what'd you say? You piece of trash. He said something like that. I was like, you're dumb. I don't remember what I said. I was like, I was like, you stupid. I was probably called him stupid. We'll say I called him stupid. I was like, you are stupid, boy. Give me my dang candy bar. So I said, he's like, shut up, you filthy nigger. I was like, what the? Everybody's like, ooh. Because there's people watching, of course. So no one's going to help your boy get my candy bar. Everybody's just watching around. They ain't going to help me or nothing. He, they could go, ooh. He said, nigger. And I, and I don't know why, but I wasn't even offended by this. I was just like, whatever, man. Like, I don't even care, man. But then I was just like, boy. And I said, like, I tried to say some dumb Arabian joke. I was like, get away from me, you camel rider or something like that. but I was just trying to clap back at him because he says the race of the beast so I, I tried to hit him something back so I said like you camel racer or something I said something real stupid whatever man <laughs> and then he's like what'd you say you cotton picker nigger I'm like oh my goodness this dude keeps saying this I'm like dang chill man you racist piece of trash like what the heck and then I'm like and then I got angry and no, then he said something else he said he said your mother is stupid. I'm like, <gasps> what'd you say? I pushed him. And then he pushed me. And I went and I grabbed him. And I threw, like, we, we, two of us ran and he hit his back against the wall. And then the instructor grabs me, pulls me back. This dude cocks back his arm. Smack, cocks your boy, boy. <laughs> I dropped back, I'm like, what the heck? And I couldn't even dodge it or nothing. I saw it coming. That dude cocked back like he trying to scratch his back or something. He cocked that arm back and just hit your boy right in the jaw, man. I could have easily dodged it, man. I could have been like floored, but I got clocked. And then once I got clocked, she let me go. And she went to go get the Arabian dude, the instructor. I came in, hit that left, right, cock back. I, I did like a little cock back. It wasn't as bad as his. And I went and just... I am gone right in that gut, right in that rib. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like his right rib side. Boy, gone right in there. Ah, I felt like it was a good punch. I was like, this dude's gonna be lose his breath or whatever. I hit him. Bah! That boy did not move a muscle. And then she finally grabs him. I get grabbed, pushed off. And I'll tell you guys the truth. After the fight, we got sent to the office. And that's, you don't wanna be in the office. You don't want to be in the office. Now, he was all serious in the office. He was all, like, serious or whatever. He was like, man. <laughs> He's sitting there just like, nah, I'm in the office. Boy, I'm crying like a baby. Because people think, people, everybody else thought I was crying because I lost in the fight. I got socked. No, that sock don't mean nothing compared to what my grandpa going to do to my behind, bro. I knew once my grandpa found out, that belt was on. Oh, whoosh, whoosh. So I was just crying because I knew I was going to get whooped. I'm like, <laughs> I'm crying like a baby, bro. I'm crying in tears. I'm like, oh man. And this dude, he's serious as much. Like, he ain't crying or nothing, boy. I know. I think that rib shot started to get to him because he started feeling his ribs. I thought it was nothing. I think that rib shot had that longevity effect. Kind of had that poison effect. He kind of slowly feeling it. I was healed up though. That sock didn't mean nothing to me because I knew I was gonna get my butt whooped. So I was crying. And then his mother came in. Because they call our parents, you know, because we got a fight, man. They call our parents. His brother come in and is like, What you do? What's the fighting? What the hell? What the hell? Start speaking this foreign language. I don't know what the heck. That dude says, I believe it. And his mother goes, I don't know what the heck they're saying, man. But they went off. And, um, and then my grandpa walks in. Marcus. And no, no, he signs the paper, signs me out. He goes, Marcus, go get your brother. We leave. I go get my brother. Everybody's all looking at me crying. They're like, Marcus, are you all right? Cause you know I me, mean? I, I was a nice guy. I wasn't mean. Everybody liked me at the YMCA. I wasn't, no, I didn't have no haters. So you know, I had some friends, I had some of my supporters. They ain't jumping to help me though. They ain't, they ain't about that life though. But man, I was telling them, I was like, man, I'm all right, man. I'm just crying. I knew I was gonna get that butt whooping, man. <laughs> man, all I knew was gonna happen, man. I, I walked in, got my brother. We hopped in the car. My grandpa was just like, man, why you fighting people in the YFC, Marcus? No, you can't be doing that. I'm like, I mean, so he talked about my mama. He's like, man, it's okay, man. We went to McDonald's. 
We got a little ice cream cone. Those are so good. And at McDonald's, we got a little ice cream cone. So I thought everything's going to be all right. I finished my ice cream cone. We go drive back in the house. And we walk. I'm walking in the house. See my grandma watches a family feud or Wheel of Fortune or something. I'm, like, I'm going to go walk, look at my grandma watch that family feud. All I hear is... <laughs> oh, I done dropped dead. I was like... That, that belt whooping hit me so hard. I didn't see it coming. I just felt like when the dude in uh when like in the movies when they get shot out of nowhere and I was just like oh boy and I screamed as loud as I can he didn't even whip me that time he just gave me one good smack on that butt with that belt Whoosh, I felt like hint the coup take getting beat by the slave master I was like ah I fell to the floor I was like oh and I cried like a baby <laughs> and you guys that was the, I think that was my first and only fight though like I got in a couple fights with my brothers and stuff, but those are just like little pushing and shoving, a little shoves, you know, nothing special, maybe a headlock, maybe a knife stab or a gunshot wound, nothing special though. This was like my last and first only like real fight against like someone outside my family, man. And that was it. Hopefully the story made sense. Uh, I'm trying to remember, this was so back. I probably forgot some things, but that's pretty much the story. I'm going to end this. I'm out of breath. I started walking around my room when the, when the climax hit the story, so... I'm tired right now. It's TB365 and peace.